Today, I'm going to show you our process for shipping chilled semen. The basic steps involved consist of collection, evaluation, centrifuge, extend, and ship. It may seem overwhelming if you're new to the idea, but it's really quite straightforward and if done properly, could remain viable for over 10 days. We've had an extremely high success rate with this system and our own samples tested extremely well, even beyond a week. If you're looking to do this yourself, I'll make sure we have links in our description for you to find the products and materials we've used. You're going to need to have your collection funneled into a sterile centrifuge tube. Since the sample sizes can only be a few milliliters, make sure you have a tube that's concave at the bottom which allows for maximum extraction using the insemination rod during the later stages. Next we'll want to take a drop and place it under the microscope for a quick evaluation. At this point, most people are generally satisfied if they see the majority moving, and in most cases if you've had the semen analyzed recently and know the counts are generally high, it would likely be sufficient. We'll occasionally perform a count using a hemocytometer, but usually just analyze the motility rates using an open source CASA program that captures the video and analyzes the sperm for us. It's a free software, but it's quite complicated to use and a bit outside of the scope here. I'll place a link below if you want to check that out. With your verified sample collected, you'll want to insert it into the centrifuge machine and spin it at a low speed for about 5 minutes. We'll set our machine to 1000 RPM and remember to balance the machine by placing another centrifuge tube with an equal volume to your collection on the opposite side of the centrifuge. The centrifuge is going to separate the seminal fluid and the sperm, moving the seminal fluid to the top and the sperm to the bottom. You want to carefully unscrew the cap and place it on a rack or have it steady to perform your extraction of the seminal fluid. Using a sterile pipette, remove as much of the seminal fluid as possible without disrupting the sperm concentration at the bottom of the centrifuge tube. This takes some practice and it's easy to panic and accidentally force fluid back into the tube and disrupt the sperm concentration. So squeeze before the pipette enters the mixture and release while it's sitting near the top of the seminal fluid. Some fluid will remain, just get out as much as possible without jeopardizing the concentration at the bottom. Next we'll add in our extender. Our preference for semen extender is Canny Plus LT which is the long term extender for up to 10 days. The Canny Plus ST or short term will do the same thing but it's only good for up to 5 days which would still likely be suitable for most French Bulldog breedings. These extenders have built in antibiotics and are a ready for use solution. Canny Plus is also a widely trusted name in extenders for breeders. These extenders do need to be stored in a refrigerator and warmed up to room temperature at the time of use. We will usually extract 4 milliliters and allow it to warm up to room temperature well in advance. If you're in a hurry you can place the container in water around room temperature but don't let any water contaminate the extender. Slowly mix in the semen extender and gently mix everything together until it's uniform again. Next we'll put on the cap and secure it further with some tape and label it so it doesn't get confused with another sample at the vet lab down the road. There are a few options for shipping and the most popular option is a canine insulated shipping box. According to a study in the Journal of Veterinary Medical Science, which I'll have a link to below, the optimal temperatures for shipping canine semen was found to be between 4 and 12 degrees, if it's going to be used within 48 hours. They have performed studies on these boxes and concluded that they will generally maintain that temperature for 2 days, which I have confirmed to be the case with our boxes. That of course assumes the shipping company is taking the necessary precautions not to expose it to extreme conditions along the way. So you will need to inquire with your shipping company to make sure they can provide that type of guarantee. Otherwise you could go with the Shipmate which is a canister that uses a temperature sensor and heater to better control the environment. I suggest you read the study in depth. It provides some interesting information on the effects of motility rate, morphology and much more based on storage temperature length of shipping and even breaks down by the type of extender. Some really good information if you're looking to get into this space. Or if you're just looking to find a quality stud at a reasonable price, why not let Astro or one of our other fine studs help you create an amazingly healthy litter? Reach out to us on Instagram at blufrenchables with any comments or if you want some further information. Thanks as always for watching and we'll see you real soon.